ladies, listen. If you are entertaining dusty men, non-providing men, men that are addicted, men that are not taking care of you, if you are entertaining these men, if you are with them, if they are your boyfriends, if you are married to them, if you are sleeping with them, if you're even just having casual sex with them, you are not going to be able to build wealth. You will not build wealth. You will not be able to save money. You will always be in debt. You will always have financial problems. These men will suck you dry. Either they'll be taking money from you, they'll be asking you for money, and your pick Misha ways about yourself are going to cause you to prioritize these men, to help these men. You're not gonna be able to get ahead no matter how many degrees you have or how much money you make. I know lots of women that are high earning women and because they are with non-providing, dusty, spiritually broken, psychologically broken men, these women still never have any money. Okay? Even if you're not giving him money, you'll be financing things for him. You'll be co-signing cars for him. You'll be signing leases with him with both of your names on it. And then when he doesn't pay his half of the rent, it falls on you. Okay? Sleeping with broke down men, entertaining them, dating them, being married to them, having them in your life outside of if you know they're your brother or your cousin or your dad because you really can't help that those people are related to you but if you are choosing to be with men in a romantic way and these men are dusty you are not going to be financially wealthy it's going to be that's an extremely rare case where a woman builds wealth or keeps her wealth when she is spending her time with these kind of men, especially if you are sexually active with these kinds of men. Don't do it. If you care about your wealth, if you care about being financially stable, if you care about leaving a legacy, if you care about leaving money for your children and your grandchildren and you want to have assets and houses and all the other things that wealthy people have you're not going to be able to have them if you're laying down with these types of men if this is at all important to you you need to stop that now and you know the best situation is not to have any sex at all okay unless of course you're trying to procreate or you're with somebody who is worth having sex with, okay? If you're, if you're the type of woman and for some reason you need to have sex, okay? If you like need to have casual sex or you know, you need to have a boyfriend and have sex with him, at least do it with a wealthy guy, okay? Because if you get pregnant, at least you know that you'll at least be able to have financial support for that child okay if you absolutely must have sex and you must throw your vagina around throw it around in a wealthy circle don't throw it around to men that don't have anything okay i hope you understand what i'm trying to tell you i'm only talking to you like this because i know these things through experience and i'm building wealth now later on in life but seriously, if I would have known and understood these things when I was like a teenager and in my early 20s, I would already be a multimillionaire. Already. But I didn't know these things. I didn't understand how it worked. And I spent many, many years of my life not becoming wealthier. I was actually becoming more and more and more poor that doesn't have to be you it absolutely doesn't have to be you build wealth one of the best ways to build wealth is to not have sex with broke down men if you like this type of content like subscribe and also check out the sugar lady academy i'll put the the link to the academy in the description box below this video talk to you later bye for now